Hey, this is Dan Marson. I just wanted to show everyone how to use the RecLink command in Stata to do a fuzzy match between data sets. So fuzzy match is basically where you would have strings in two different data sets that are, you know, they mean the same thing, but are not going to appear exactly the same way in each string. So you might have something like uh, if you have one data set that John D. Rockefeller is in and another data set where John Rockefeller is in it, um, you want to be able to match John Rockefeller to John D. Rockefeller. It's clearly the same person. Um, so you want to do things like that across data sets. This is uh, something you're going to have to use. If the strings match perfectly, you should just use merge. There's no question. Um, and even sometimes with this, you should use merge first to pull out the ones that are obvious matches um, and save you a little bit of runtime. Um, not too much, though. Um, okay, so basically what you have to do is you have to use, you have to have two data sets, separate data sets in Stata, and they need to have the same named variable that you're going to match between. Actually, there is an option that lets you not do that. But um, it's just easiest if you have them be named the same thing. Um, so what I have here is I have this data set that I have from you know newspaper list and census that I put together. I just have some people here. Um, and as I showed you in some previous videos, I separated out the first names from the last names. And this works pretty well. So you can see G. Allen Hancock here or R.B. Mellon look like they're the one of the only ones that are in backwards order here or are actually straightforward order. Andrew W. Mellon right there. Uh, everyone else is in the form last comma first and actually if we look over here everyone's last name comes out perfectly all the melons melon melon and the other one was Hancock here and I get their first names out exactly as I want them Andrew W R B so I want um, that's what I want to match on so it was um, good that the name cleaning string actually worked on getting all those uh, first names and last names out uh, pretty perfectly okay so that's what you need to do. You also need an identifier for every variable in the data, or every observation in the data set. So you need a variable that is a unique identifier for everyone. And the easiest way to do that is to just use the uh, gen command. So we're gonna drop the one I already have, and I'll just make it exactly identical. And I'll just make gen id census equals underscore n. And this does the same thing where it's gonna give you um, just the number of the observation is gonna be the number of this variable. That's all that does. And that's how you make a unique identifier. Okay, so we're gonna clear this and we're gonna use this uh, Forbes rich list. So this is the original Forbes rich list from 1917 or 1918, something like that. We've got these rich people here. And what I'm gonna show you is, um, so I've got this ID Forbes rich list here and I've got last names and first names. So you can see I have John D. Rockefeller. I've um, you know, a couple other people. Edward S. Harkness was in there. Um, Henry Ford was in there. I want to match these people against uh, who I find in that first data set, right? So I'm going to do that in the uh, ID I have there is ID Forbes Rich List. And of course, I have the same named last name, first name variables. Okay. And okay. So um, clear this and go back to census data set and just uh, throw out a lot of the distracting things. And um, this is what we're going to use. Um, I'll show you the form of the function. You have to go to the help file. The help file is actually pretty useful. Um, but it's reclink verilist, and then you have to specify the data set you're using and the um, ID in the master data set, the ID in the using data set, what you're going to generate. I'll actually run through this in a separate video um, so you can see how that works. But when you put it all together, oops, I actually hit it twice. Um, but you're going to get something like this. You're going to run this command. And um, this is going to take just a couple minutes. I won't have a video run through the whole couple minutes. But um, you get a dot for each time it finishes 5% of the, of the data set. So already one dot is up, so that's 5%. And we'll get another dot in a second. And then that'll be 10%. And it's just going to take 10 times as long as that to go through all the ones. So there's that second dot. Um, I'm going to finish up this video and show you how this runs in a second video. All right, see you then.